Hello everybody, this is Milrev. Welcome back. Today we're doing something really important, shields. I took so much time to make these awesome for you guys. We have three different shapes and then also destructive properties and all kinds of stuff that's important for shields. By the end of this video, you're going to know everything you need to know to make an awesome shield, which will make your game so much more fun. Also make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to show you something really cool that I'll be showing off in the next video and you'll get the first sneak peek at it. Here we have our setup. It's just a simple game screen with the person in the middle. They can move left and right with the stick and then Y is to jump. We're going to go into a simple object and grab a box here. And we're going to move the box off to the side, then connect it to the person. Go into the box settings and change the size to 0.6 by 0.6. This one all the way down to 0.1 for Z. Then the connection point we're going to have at own connection point Z plus. Target connection point, the person Z minus. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. It should look like this. This is what a simple shield would look like, and it's looking beautiful. This is definitely the easiest one to make. All right, now we can go back into the settings and turn this invisible, and then we're gonna change destructive off, except for spheres and cylinders will be able to destroy it for our purposes today. It's destructible because it's Kokiri shield. It's very weak. So let's go ahead and connect the artwork up to here. Unfortunately, I have to leave you guys to draw your own artwork. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you out here. Connect it to the box, and if everything goes right, it should look like this. That's the easiest one, but it's also the weakest one. Now take note that this has a nice hitbox. It doesn't protect the back. It works as a shield should. Let's move on to the next one. So you're looking for some more stopping power. That's understandable. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and call on the simple object for a cylinder this time. This guy's going to help us out. Let's go ahead and move him off to the side again, connect him to the person. We're going to change his size down to just 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, make things simple. We'll keep him visible and we're going to, if we connect it the same way as last time, Z plus to Z minus, let's see what happens. It creates this ginormous cylinder in front and when we apply our shield texture, it's going to be super far away from the player. So we have another option. In order to do this, we can go ahead and change the connection point to center center and this is going to give us more of an all around feel. Now it'll be up to you to decide, is it okay to have the block in the back as well? I kind of like it, but it might be too cheap for your game, so you'll have to decide. For now, let's go ahead and go into the settings, and we're going to turn off destructible for this one because it's an upgrade, and we're not going to make it destructive either, except for to sphere and cylinder. I think that's about solid, and we're going to turn off visible as well. Then all you have to do is hook up your texture, which I have one down here just waiting in the wings and make sure that this one is set for the z minus texture face let's go ahead and see what this looks like now all right there we go we have this nice beautiful curved shield just the way it should be i think it looks really really nice with that cylinder remember he will be protected from the back which makes him nearly impenetrable but definitely a cool looking shield so if you're going for aesthetics that's great and it's kind of where it should be as well so that's the Hylian shield, and it's looking good. Let's move on to a really cool one, the Captain America shield. So now you want something that's not only indestructible, but also destructive. I can't blame you. Let's go into the objects, simple objects, and grab a sphere. We're going to put this down next to our person as always. Hook it up to the person. Go into the settings. The size is right at 0.8, which will be great. And we're also going to connect this one to center center. This should make our character pretty much indestructible. Let's take a look. That is 360 coverage right there, and we are good to go. If you don't want that, you're going to have to move it out forward a little bit, but it might look a little weird. Let's go ahead and apply the texture and see how this looks after we turn this invisible. So turn the visibility off, turn the destructibility off, and then we're going to connect the shield texture I so lovingly crafted to this thing. All right, and there we go. So it has the most natural aesthetic, and look at that. It's curved perfectly for the Captain America shield. Even has that 3D look, and it's in the right position. If you try to put the sphere out front, it looks a little goofy, just like the cylinder we had. But I think that looks really nice as is right there, and it's indestructible. Now it's time to test these things out. If you made it this far in the video, you're amazing, and now it's time to show off the really cool thing, which is this. Captain America can throw his shield. Took me a while to figure that out, but let's go ahead and test the durability of these guys here. Now this shield is pretty much indestructible. We can throw all the seeds and arrows at it we want and nothing's gonna break it. Although you could set it to be broken. Now it's just time to retaliate. We're gonna throw the shield 
at the Kokiri shield. There it goes, and we can actually just walk into this guy as well, and he's done. Now, the Hylian shield is not very good at destroying, but it is very good at protecting, and there's nothing more we can do with this one even. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and like I said, on the next one, we're going to show you how to do this, so until next time, happy building, and God bless.